All right, this is an illustration of how I use a Tribatinov mask for collimating a fast newt, which I find to be a real challenge because they have offset secondaries and you can't just center the donut. So here is my Tribatinov mask. And what you'll see is we have angles here, angles here, and then a straight angle here. So these pieces all go together. Uh, and then essentially, as I understand it, <clears throat> we have this axis, this axis, and this axis, and we're essentially making the mirror um, at the same distance by getting all those different axes in line because they aren't all, it's not the whole mirror at once, it is different sections of the mirror being collimated essentially at one at a time. And an important step is we have these, uh, these markers here for each of these axes, again here, here, and here. And this line, I line up with the collimation screws at the very bottom, so that each axis corresponds to a collimation screw. And then I take my very budgety do-it-yourself mask here. Uh, and that I use to isolate each of these axes one at a time. You can put this thing on top, uh, but it just becomes very hard to know which um, axis you're trying to actually fix to make things line up. So this just makes it easier. I suppose you could also just have a partial axis at a time and just rotate your whole mask, but you know, this is easier. So then if I want this on, I'll just uh, pop it on like so. And now this axis, this axis, and this axis is all the, the only thing that's being shown. And then I do that for each axis to complete the collimation and then we're good. And uh, I don't know, it's... Um, I've tried everything that uh, people have recommended, and uh, I'm tired of uh, squinting my eyes, looking at um, through the seeing, trying to see if it's on average, uh, oops, same brightness or what have you. And I just find this to be so repeatable that it makes the collimation both fast and systematic and a relative joy. So um, maybe it'll help you too. Uh, that's why I made this video.